The water tastes funny. Alright, let me get my feng shui. <laughs> YouTube, what up though? It's your boy DK, welcome back to the crib for another early look video. Hey, check it out. Yesterday, we went to Ikea, we went to Target. Um, if the vlog is not out before this video, just a little update, man. As you can see over my right shoulder, my new setup, man. So I just got a small, something simple, man. Small show, LED strip lights, just to showcase a couple of my favorites. And I'll rotate in and out. Of course, I have more than five pair of shoes, so I'll rotate per video, kind of uh, whatever video I'm gonna do a, a review on. Like today I'm doing a review on, on some Jordan 1, so maybe next time I do a review on Jordan 1s, I'll have a bunch of Jordan 1s right there. Whatever, whatever the case may be. But thank y'all for following along. But nice little setup, man. I appreciate uh, you guys following along with us. And uh, it's just the start of it, man. We gonna add more on to it. You know how it go, so. But anyway, enough of the wait enough of the suspense we're here to talk about the jordan one chicago lost and found these babies right here really really dope shoe legendary iconic shoe man um this shoe of course a lot of you guys who probably have hundreds of sneakers oh man i already got the chicago 2015s i already got that hey good for you bro these are dope though they're more uh, of an 85 cut um, a lot of people complain about the chapped leather. Okay, whatever. I like it. I like the vintage look. You know, the swoosh is a little bit of oversized. Um, the cut, the toe box. A lot of people complain about the toe box. Look, man, I'm not going to complain. Jordan Brand, thank you for releasing these. Um, I wasn't fortunate enough to, to have the 2015 uh, Chicago's because they were sold out, of course. I couldn't get my hands on them. And at that time, my financial situation probably wasn't where it is. So, where it is today. So, I'm glad to have these today and an early look at that. These are slated to release November 19th, which is this upcoming Saturday. And also, you guys, it'll be at all your foot trafficking sites. So, these shoes are going to be circulating. So they shouldn't be that hard to get. And I think Nike did that on purpose. Jordan brand did that on purpose. And that's great. I'm so glad that they did that because for, for those of us who love to collect sneakers, it shouldn't be that hard for us to get, man. We shouldn't have to pay exorbitant prices to, to get, you know, sneakers or whatever. But anyway, let's get to the review of the shoe. You know how I get long winded y'all. I appreciate your patience. So let's start with the sole as usual. So the sole, your typical Jordan 1 sole, but if you look at it, it's got like an ashy look to it. So the story behind these, if you don't know, um, everybody in the beginning of the year, you know, when you see the forecast of Jordans to be released in 2022 when we was in 2021, and they were called the Reimagine. Everybody's like, oh, Reimagine Chicago, Reimagine Chicago. But my man, Sean Collar, I probably put his social somewhere in here. Sean Collar actually broke the story. The story is lost and found, which we know today, which is paying homage to mom and pop shops. And uh, the shoe comes in a vintage box. Let's look at the box. So it's a beat up box and the shoe supposedly was like in some, some storage um, and someone came across it. So that's why you see the sale on the front and you see the AJKO lid with the Jordan one box. So um, really dope touch to it, man. It looks old, it looks vintage. And then when you pop the lid on this boy, you get the newspaper. You get like newspaper in there. So as you can see, it's advertising Air Jordans for $29.99. I think the regular price was like $67. So that's, that's actually what was going on in 86, man. So, and it says what it says, super sale, Air Jordan, super sale, while they last, you know, so, Hey man, dope, dope touch. Nike went all out for these. I seen on TV, they got the Jordan advertising. So this was really, really dope touch for such an iconic sneaker. Also in the vintage looking box, you get a receipt. So the receipt, it says Sandy Brothers Sports Depot. It's uh, dated August 30th, 1986. The name is Paul L. Air Jordan basketball shoe, paid cash, final sale. Leah N is the one who received it. So um, there supposedly is 
Easter eggs in this. So if you pay attention, he is wearing a pair of airships. The guy on the logo, the Sandy Sports logo. He's number 24. To me, it kind of looked like Kobe a little bit, but you know, whatever. I guess the 24 is just kind of, you know, put that in my brain. But um, for y'all who remember before POS system and all this other stuff, used to handwrite receipts. So pretty, pretty dope touch to the, to the whole storyline, the lost and found. And you guys already know how I am about stories, about th things that mean something because sneakers mean something to me, man. It takes me back. It's nostalgia. And for, for a lot of us, man, being a sneakerhead, y'all, is not necessarily about your inventory. You know, being a sneakerhead is about the feelings that you have for the sneaker community. Back to the sneaker. We go up to the midsole. You got your age sale looking midsole, right? And then we come around to the toe box. The toe box has, it's kind of like a age white leather on the, on the toe box. So Nike did a superb job with that. And then the toe cap, you got your normal red. And the toe box a little bit different. It's cut a little bit higher up, but neither here nor there. It comes with two, two sets of laces. You got your black and white laces. You got your age looking tongue vinyl and then you got the uh nike air on the tongue um and instead of a shoe tree like in the jordan one normally you get your tissue so it's, it's really taking you back white insoles you can see 10 and a half my size um dope shoe bro I, I'm, I mean it's more or less the icon the iconic shoe of a chicago colorway jordan one it's a higher cut to go along to go along with that, so I got another Jordan one that's uh, came out this year. Um, dead stock still, my taxis. So with the taxis, um, if you look at the logos, right? You check that logo out on the taxi. You see it's got that embossed look to the logo, the wings logo on the collar. But if you look at the Jordan one, it's, it's more of a dull imprinted situation. So. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the, the cut on the collar is a little bit higher than on the taxi. So, you know, they, they kind of went back to the 85 cut, which next year they are dropping a 85 Chicago Jordan 1. So all y'all with the 2015s who hating on the, on the Lost and Founds, you'll be happy next year because next year is rumored that there will be a, uh, a release of Chicago 85 so it'll be the og 85 cut so dope shoe bro uh we come up this color blocking this colorway is iconic man you gonna hear me use the words iconic so much because for a lot of people this started uh lo the love of sneakers man michael jordan changed the game with these shoes you know it, it just changed the game so it was it's, it's cutting edge it was nothing like this in that in that time frame so and then you come up on the collar, you got your age or ashy leather. So uh, a little bit larger check. You got the little rough leather on the uh, side panels as well, man. So really, really dope shoe. Like I said, two laces. I'm seeing a lot of people put the white laces in. I don't know, man. I'm old school. I'm going to go with the black laces. I just feel like when I see Jordan wearing them black laces in them Chicago's, it just... Just nostalgia, bro. So, but hey, neither here nor there. Not knocking anybody. I know a lot of people hit on exclusive access, man. So a lot of you guys, these shoes will be circulating, man. So they're mass produced. Um, so you might have some imperfection with yours like mine. I do have a small imperfection right here. If you can see that right there with the leather. It's kind of, it just looks indented, but man, I ain't complaining, man. It is what it is. You know, they made 500,000 pairs, allegedly. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't work for Nike, but you hear guys all the time. They just know everything. That's the Jordan 1 Chicago lost and found, y'all. Look, I appreciate y'all tapping in, man. Stay tuned. If this is your first time watching, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, if you love dope sneaker content, you like early look reviews, you like vlogs, you like unboxings, you in the right place, man. So we just going to keep going up. We just going to keep getting better at this. And always remember, y'all, uh, to keep making noise until somebody hear you. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Make sure everybody stay safe. Be blessed out there. 
And y'all have a good one, man. Take care. I'll see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. Thank you.